Hi, today we're going to see how to create a dripping paint effect in GIMP. I will put the link of the images in the description box. So first, here's our image. So we're going to go to the image here, the layer, right click on it, add an alpha channel. And now let's duplicate this layer like this. And now the first thing we are going to do is to remove the background. So first, let's go to colors here, view and saturation. We're going to desaturate this layer and bring the saturation slider all the way down like this, press OK. And now go to colors again, curves. And now we are going to increase the dark, the black color and the white here like this, so here, let's see, I think here it's too much maybe, like this, I think here it's okay, here it's okay, so press okay here, and now we're going to paint on the background with white. So change the foreground color to white. Take a brush with the hardness of 100 here, as you can see. Here's the size of the brush, increase it a little bit like this here. And now just paint on the background here. So like this, again here. So let's decrease it a little bit. If there are some small spots here, like this. And now we're going to paint black on the person here. So let's switch here. Click on these two arrows here to switch between the foreground and background colors. And now decrease the size of the brush here. So here, you can press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. But as you can see, it increased the size. So let's change the tool here and then press the plus key. Now let's go back to our brush here. So I'll keep it like this. And now we're going to paint black on the person here like this. So here we're going to cover all the white spots here. So here, like this. Here on the face again. I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. You did some mistakes. So now I'm going to speed up the this process. So I think that's okay here. So here's the image here, first one. So now here's the black and white image. So now we're going to colors. We're going to invert the colors. Go to colors, invert. So we need to make uh, the person here white and the background black here. So I'm going to paint. Here I think there's some white here. So some white spots here. So I think that's okay here. So let's take our move tool again. So now we're going to hide this layer, the black and white layer, go to our image layer, right click, and then we're going to add layer mask with white full opacity, like this. And as you know, in a, in a layer mask, the white represents opacity and the black transparency. So we're going to copy this black and white layer here, press Control C here, we'll go or go to Edit, copy here, there it is, Control C. This is the shortcut here. So here, hide the black and white layer and now click on the layer mask. Here it is, as you can see, there's an outline. This is the image, 
is an outline around the image and now here's the air mask click on it and then control v to paste it like this and as you can see it's floating layer it's a floating selection sorry so just anchor it here by clicking on this on this icon here it will anchor the the layer here on the layer mask and as you can see and as you can see it will remove the background here so now just right click on the image here and then apply layer mask so now we can delete the black and white image here by pressing on this icon here the x icon and now create a new layer by clicking on this icon here like this press ok it's transparent so so we're going to paint it with white like this and place it under the person here so like this so now let's here's our move tool and now we're take the move tool now just move the person here like this so here it is and now right click on the person layer the image layer here layer to image size and now we're going to bring one image here you can either open it from file go to file and then open or just drag it from the folder that's what i'm going to do here it is i will put the links of the images in the description box here it is so now what are we going to do right click on this dripping paint image here alpha to selection to make a selection of what's inside the layer here so now just paint it with black here and now as you can see there are small lines here we're going to remove them take the brush tool with hardness 100 and uh, the color black and now we're going to remove them so here just paint on them like this here it is here so make sure to paint all over the edges here the drippings here like this on the corners of the image here so like this to remove if there's any white spots anything else like this or any color so here here it is like this I think that's okay here and now let's take our move tool again so now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out like this and now let's remove our selection by going to select none to see the layer I think it's okay here so now we're going to move the layer here to place it where we want the dripping to be so you can reduce the opacity to see here I think it's okay here so like this or maybe just like this so now we're going to right click on the dripping image here right click on it and then alpha to selection this is going to make selection of the image here hide it and now let's select our person layer this one here take the scale tool go to the tool options in the transform section there is here scale there is you can scale layer selection path path or an image so choose the selection here left click here and now you'll be able to scale the selection and now keep the shift key down press the shift key here while dragging up to scale the selection from just one handle like this keep the shift key down and then and then drag the upper handle here this one here on top so it will scale it up as you can see here so scale so here it is make sure when you're scaling to cover the person here the image person here make sure to cover it like this and now for example if you want to move this selection so while you are on scale tool just change the transform to layer to not forget if you want to move the selection go to select and then same thing as, as scale move and just move selection so we can move the selection and then control the dripping so like this maybe 
So here, I think it's okay here. So now, same thing on the move, in the tool options move, just change it back to layer, not forget. So now, uh, as I told you, scale it above the person here. So now what we are going to do, we're going to select and then invert. This will invert our selection. Yeah, it will select what's outside here and not what's inside here. And now while we are on our image layer, the person layer, press delete on, on your keyboard here. Now it will delete what's outside here. So go to select none to remove selection. So here's our dripping paint effect. So now we don't need this image anymore. So press the X icon here to remove it. So now we just need to add one image. So here, here's the image. I'm just going to drop it from the folder here like this. So here's the image. So now let's take our scale tool, make sure transform is layer here. So left click, so left click on it, scale it, press control while scaling it. Press the control, keep the control key down while scaling it to scale it proportionally like this. Here, I think it's okay here. Press enter to confirm the selection. So here it is. So I'm gonna take the move tool here. So place it under the image here. Drag this layer, the paint layer here, the splash layer. This one here, so now we can move it like this here. So now duplicate this layer here. I click on this icon here, and now take the rotation tool like this here. And now let's rotate the second layer. We have just duplicated this one here like this. So choose how you want the effect to be. So I think that's okay here. So press rotate like this. And now if you want to change the colors of the paint here, go to colors, colorize. I will change it to an orange color. Here it is, as you can see, if you are, if I hide the person layer here, here it is. So now the hue controls the color here, as you can see. The saturation controls the intensity of the color, like this. And the lightness, it controls in lightness, as its name says. So here, I will increase the saturation all the way up. And then, here, so I want to select an orange color, like this, this one here, press OK. Here, let's show our image layer here, the person here, here, like this. Now take the Move tool to place it here. I want to keep the dripping effect visible here, like this. So. Now go to these splash layers here, these ones here, duplicate them. Uh, sorry, merge them down so we can move them at the same time, like this. So here, like this. So now we can merge these two layers if you like the effect here, like this. So merge them down like this, here. And now go to layers. Crop to content, it will crop the layer to its, what's inside it, to its content. And now take the alignment tool, left click on this layer. Now make sure the align is relative to the image. Now click on these two icons to align it horizontally and vertically, like this. Now go back to the image layer, layer to image size. So here it is. So now let's go to our background layer. If you want to remove the squares here, just take another tool. We're going to use our gradient tool. So here, like this. And now let's change the, the color of the foreground to gray color, like this, this one here. Press OK. 
and now the shape is radial so just drag it here like this so here like this so i think that's it that's how we can create the paint dripping effect in game thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time bye bye